So the very first step into a Hermione transformation is to have her iconic golden light brown hair. Now since I need to update my roots anyway, I am going to be dyeing my hair instead of wearing a wig and I'm going to be using the Garnier Nutrice Nourishing Color Cream in the shade number 70, specifically Dark Natural Blonde. Now Nutrice gives a very rich, long-lasting, and radiant color with 100% great coverage and the Nourishing Conditioner which contains avocado oil, olive oil, and shea oils give you silky soft healthy hair. Now application is super easy, it is a non-drip cream formula that smells amazing, just be sure to closely follow the instructions on the box, and also keep in mind on the side of the box there is a color chart which predetermines how your natural color will react with the dye. Now the box comes with a full kit including the developer, conditioner, color cream, oil concentrate, and most importantly, instructions. So first grab your developer and fill it with the color cream and also the oil concentrate. Put on your gloves and shake the bottle till the formula is mixed and then just apply it where it's desired. Hermione's hair through the years have undergone a few minor changes in terms of color, ranging from full brown to shades of dirty blonde, so choosing which version to go for is totally up to you. If you want her full brown hair, just apply the hair dye all over, but I prefer to recreate her dirty blonde hair. Once you are done applying it, wait 20 minutes, give or take, before washing it out. So here's my hair before, and here's my hair after. Moving on to the makeup, I'm applying Bed Nye Scar Wax to actually lengthen the tip of my nose. You just want to take a little piece, ball it up, and stick it right onto your nose. It really helps if you smooth it out with a bit of water on your fingers because the wax is so sticky. This step is totally optional though. If you want an easier method, check out my Belle makeup tutorial where I recreate Emma's nose only with contour. Once you are done, apply foundation gently on top to cover it and proceed to apply the foundation all over your face. Now for the eyebrows, glue your eyebrows down with a non-toxic glue stick and comb them up to lay them flat. And don't worry, this won't damage your eyebrows, it comes right off with a bit of soap and water. Once the glue is dry, apply powder on top of your eyebrows and all over your face. Next, take an orange eyeshadow and compact it over your brows. This will cancel out any of the unwanted blue tones. Then apply concealer. And you can definitely repeat these steps until it's completely covered. Now apply more powder on top to lock the concealer. So for Emma's eyebrows, you want to draw them quite low on the face. I am using a brown liquid eyeliner pen to draw and fill them in. If you make any mistakes, just add some concealer to fix them. Now after I did the eye makeup, I altered the eyebrows to be more straight, so this is the shape you really should be going for. Next, apply light brown eyeshadow right under your eyebrow and near the nose bridge, and then follow it into your crease to give the illusion we have the same bone structure. Then take that same brown liquid eyeliner pen and apply a very thin line to your lids. Now curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara. Also, darken your eyebrows a bit with the same brown eyeshadow to intensify your eyes. Next, add the same brown eyeshadow to your lower lash line and then add a coat of mascara too. 
Now to really complete her eyes, outline the crease under your eye with the eyeshadow since she does have a little fold there. Moving on to your face, apply blush onto the apples of your cheeks and then drag it down for a radiant appearance. Now to get her sleek jawline and cheekbones, apply a contour under your chin and on your cheekbones to sharpen them. Now for your lips, you can go two ways. You can apply a very natural soft pink tone, or apply a more dusty pink tone, which I ended up going for at the end, since I really wanted to emphasize my lips. And finally, apply fake freckles to your cheeks using a tiny brush and a little bit of eyeshadow. So here is me before, and here is me after. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I can see you in my next one.